Hi, if you're a beginner and want to learn more about winning basic chess strategies, then watch this video. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Hey, pretty good. How are you doing? Doing good. Thank you so much for being a special guest. Absolutely. I love I I I am so bad at chess. I need and I want to not be this 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 bad and I want to keep having fun and, and so yeah, thank you so much for um helping me out. You're welcome. I'm so happy because um I don't know if you if, if the audience knows, but chess is actually a male-dominated game, so I'm just so happy that you like to play chess. Yeah, let's get some women in there. Yes, definitely. Well, um, I see that you share the game with me, so let's go ahead and analyze it. So, you were back um, in this game, and this game was played on chess.com, and your opponent um, moved the pawn to e4, and this is a good move because it's important to have a pawn in the center, and then also with e4, it also gets the um, lines open for the bishop and the queen. You moved um, d5, and do you know the name of this opening? Uh, Queen's Pawn, maybe? Um, this is Queen's Pawn, but the official name of this opening is called the Scandinavian Defense. Okay. Yes. So that's good to know. Um, most, I think most people, I mean, this is, this is actually, it's pretty common. I actually play the Scandinavian myself. Um, so let's see what happens. Your opponent, um, moved the pawn to F3, and... I am actually not a big fan of this move because it opens up the king's diagonal. Mm -hmm. So, I was just I never I never have seen that before. I don't think, and I was just thinking, oh no, what is this? I have no idea what this is. Right. So your the proper um, response after d five is for this pawn to take this pawn. That's mm -hmm. the proper mm -hmm. response. But your opponent went f3. Again, not very good because it opens up the king's diagonal. Let's see what happens next. e5. Okay, that's interesting. Knight um, goes out. And then you move the knight out. Okay, that's good. Um, when you're playing chess, it's important to get all the knights and the bishops out toward the center. And this is good. That's a good move. Pawn goes there, and then you go here. Do you want to tell me more about this move? Um, what happened? I, you know what? I think that's just to, um, because his to stop, just to, just so that his knight doesn't go on that one square, uh, right there. Yeah, B yeah. five. Yes, uh, the H, the H, um, whatever that one is. So five H five. This is actually B five. B5. Oh, that's right, because it's black. It's black and it's okay. Yes. I, I reversed the numbers, but not the letters. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so okay. B5. This is actually pretty common. So it stops the um, knight and also this bishop, too. So, mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. Great. Um, let's see what happens. So, knight goes here. And I. I. Yeah, I don't really like this move. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but it's important to try to develop the knights toward the center. So uh -huh. this knight is in the center, so it's controlling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you move the knight on the edge, it's only controlling one, two, three, four. So that means that the knight I is see. not that strong. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You take away like half the squares yes. by having it kind of on the edge of the board. Yes, definitely. So my, I think my recommendation is that I would probably take this pawn. And if knight takes, then if this knight takes, then the queen can take it. Then this bishop can get out. That's what I would probably mm -hmm. deal. But let's go back to what actually happened. Um, okay, and, okay, so you moved pawn to g6, what was the purpose of this move? Um, okay, if, 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 uh, if I'm, uh, if I want to think about it. Okay. 
Um, so I thought, I thought one day mm -hmm. that that white bishop is going to be coming over there. The black bishop is pretty jammed up. I don't know what the word for it for it is, but I thought that black bishop is pretty is pretty jammed up, even though. He could come out to the side. I'm not worried about it because I've got my black bishop uh, there, and I've got some pawns I can move around, and my knight and my knight can get um, can cover those black bishop squares. But the white, but the white bishop, I don't like it because I feel like it can get behind something, and then a pawn, and then a pawn could move. Um, so I figured I would I would, I would put that there. And then it's also going to uh, def um, be defending that that square on the edge. I was also worried about the queen because I wanted more stuff on those left hand side. Uh, his, his queen, his queen. Oh, his queen. I'm worried about. I'm worried. I'm worried about his queen because it's gonna. It's, I feel like it's gonna start coming around, coming out the, um, you know, on that same diagonal with the with the white. Uh, bishop there so I just wanted to get a little bit more kind of coverage on those uh, those those white squares like right right below his knight oh right um, okay right right you, you, you see I don't know I don't, I can't, oh. I'm, you, you know what even chess vocabulary like I can't even talk about it but that pawn is 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 kind of attacking those two squares and then that get well, along with my bishop mm -hmm. it 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 gets me some more protection on that side, which is where I was thinking he was, you know, able to move more on that, on that, um, my left-hand side of the board. Okay. The HG side. Sorry, okay. I'm rambling on and on. I, <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know how to put it. It's, no, it's okay. Um, right. I, I have some, like, I I have some suggestions for you. This is. Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay. I what I would probably um do in this position is since um he moved up the the F three pawn, what I would probably do is I would probably um take the knight. Um so bishop takes knight, pawn takes, and then notice that his pawn um structure is very bad. So if pawn takes um knight if if the knight takes, knight takes pawn takes, then the queen can go to h four, and your opponent's king is in a very bad um position right now. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would probably do, um if I was um black. But okay, so you move um pawn um pawn to g six. Bishop goes there. And then um, the bishop goes to um, b4. Okay, so that attacks the knight. And um, I was, you, you know the value of the pieces, right? Um, basically, the, uh, I forget what the actual numbers are, but it's knight, knight and bishop are about the same. That's true. And then it's the rook and, the, and then... And then the queen. And then yeah. obviously the king is like infinity or whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the knight and the bishop, they're worth the same. Do you know how many points it's worth? Is it three? It is. Yes. Okay. And then the queen is worth? 11 or something? No. So the queen is worth nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Okay. Yes. And then the okay. rook. And then the rook is worth? Five. Five points. Yep. And then the queen? Nine. Um, nine. The, yeah. The, the pawn? One. One, and then the king? Infinity. Yes, exactly. Okay, so if you move here, it's safe. Okay, so that's fine. And then you decided to go here. Okay, that's good because it's controlling the F2 square next to the king. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, so your opponent um, moves the pawn to B4. It's aggressive. It's attacking this bishop. And then you moved it. I'm glad that you did that because you don't want to lose the bishop for a pawn. So I'm I'm happy that you moved the bishop. That's good. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so knight goes to g5 again. A long time ago, I would have um taken the knight, but okay. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. But knight goes to g5, and then you go here, 
And do you want to tell me more about this move? Um, uh, the, we're entering the point of the game where, where I was really starting to think a lot more about the, about the moves. Okay. Um, he, what was I thinking? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't okay. remember what I was. I don't remember what I was thinking. I was I was thinking about stuff that was going to happen, maybe down the road. Okay, um, I forget. It's okay. Um, so I noticed that when you go here, um, it's attacking the knight. So you got to remember that each move should have a purpose. Um, mm -hmm. so at least like okay, it's attacking the knight. Let's see what happens. Okay, so he moves the knight back, and then let's see what happens now. Okay, so you move the um, bishop this way. Um, this is, again, it's safe, so it's fine. Again, I would probably um, take the knight, but okay, you move there, it's safe. Okay, pawn goes to d3, um, okay. And then, let's see what happens. Knight goes there, okay. Um, so you're doing a good job getting the knights and the bishops out. That's good. You always want to get knights and bishops out, so that's good. You could also maybe perhaps move, maybe move the knight over to c6 too. Um, that would mm, that also... lets your queen. That's lets the queen be able to do more stuff. Yes, it yes. looks like yes, definitely. Um, but okay, you went on uh, knight to d7. Let's see what happens. Okay, pawn goes there, and then you go there, and. Hmm, but, um, do you, maybe, maybe we can castle? That's what I would probably do. We think castling would be good. Notice that he, he, this is, I do not like this move because he, notice he hasn't gotten his bishop out. This bishop is very bad right now. If you notice, this bishop mm -hmm. can only go to one square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is not... Um, this is not too terrific for your opponent, but let's see what happened. Okay, so you went there. Pawn um, goes to f4. Now he wants to move the bishop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, I think right. I I would probably maybe we should castle right now. So the, the opening rule is. Well, like, I Oh, because why when, would you castle right now? Um, because in the um, when you castle, it keeps the king king safe. Mm -hmm. That's what I would probably do. I would probably take this bishop, and then pawn takes, and then um, I would probably maybe um maybe take this pawn too. And then I would probably castle so you can get the king on the side of the board. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a general rule. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I I have no idea when to castle, when not. A lot of times the ch I do the chess.com analysis thing. Yes. And it tells me that I castled too or Well, I, you know, and when, and it tells me, oh, the castling is not is not good there. And I'm like, it seems like it wants it. It seems like it wants me to castle later. So that's what I've been starting to try to castle a little bit, a little bit later, rather than, uh, cause I, cause I think when, I, um, you know, like a month ago or whatever, I was just trying to castle as soon as I possibly could, mm -hmm. and then I kept, I kept, it kept dinging me for that. It kept telling me, don't, don't do it yet. Oh. And so that's, you know, I. But that's the extent of what I know about when do you castle? When's the right time? You know. Right. So, I mean, again, it depends on the position, but as a general rule, it's like you should castle every game. But again, there's always like exceptions um, to that rule. But in this position, um, I would probably castle. Um, so the king is on the side of the board. And also when you castle, um, then this rook um, can... Um, um, you can you can move the rook over to e8, and then it helps get the rook into play. But mm -hmm. let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and see what actually happened. Knight goes to g4. Okay, 
Uh, let's see what happens. So the queen goes there. Pawn takes. Okay. Queen goes there. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is an interesting move to e3. Why why did you go here? Um well, because first of all, it's a safe place to go in 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 a sense because it you know, like just just for the moment on that square, it can it can retreat back. It it it, it it's um it's preventing that that queen is putting more pressure actually on the on the what is it called like H G like the F um, the the F five um, you know and I was you know naturally I'm hoping to get the the what's it called um, the fork that the, the the king and the I'm threatening to the the king and the and the and the rook to take the to take the rook for uh trade the rook for my knight yeah. yes yes yeah. there's that there's that um yeah i just thought that's a really good square to go yeah because yeah yeah um yeah i like this move and when you're playing chess you want to move and make a threat and obviously um you're th you're threatening to capture the pawn and then that would be a very nice um, knight fork because it's attacking the king and the rook at the same time. So that's good. Let's see what actually happened. Oh, okay. So I guess that he saw um, the knight fork. So now the king is protecting the pawn on c2. And therefore, <laughs> it's not safe for the knight to um, take the pawn. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see what happens now. Um, knight goes here. And... I noticed with this move, it's attacking the queen. Okay, um, that's good. This queen is almost trapped, by the way. This yeah, that that's what I was thinking this whole time. The whole time, not now, now I remember the whole the, that though that whole kind of move sequence. I was just trying to take squares away from the queen. I was trying to like, uh, kind of squish it into its little, uh, squish it until it has has nowhere to go and and get it i see you know, or at least it can't do anything okay great yep you want to try to move and make a threat um the knight's on a better square let's see what happens queen goes there okay let's see what happens okay so you move this queen here um ooh. what do i want to do i want to move Okay, that's, Sorry. okay, so we gotta be very careful in this position, um, because, so this is, this is one thing I've, I notice is that, um, when the, when you, right now the queen is protecting, um, this knight, and when you move this queen here, I notice that if this pawn um takes this pawn and if this bishop takes it notice that this queen can safely um capture the knight so we gotta mm -hmm. be careful about that but um the other thing is if the um okay so wait, hold on. okay so th let's just go let's continue on um okay what goes there you go there Ooh, so this is good. This queen, you're you're just attacking this queen. Nice. Okay, and then after that, oh wow. Okay, so you're starting to, um, you're still attacking the queen. Okay, that's interesting. Um, one idea you could also do is you could also perhaps maybe. Oh, actually, yeah, you can maybe move the knight over um, to h5 and attack the queen too. And then also notice that mm -hmm. it's also attacking the pawn on f4 yeah. too. But let's move forward. You decided to go back. Okay, I think this is fine. Um, but once... Th okay, so... This is a huge mistake by your opponent. Again, it's let's just take a look at the value of the pieces. First of all, it's not safe for um, the rook to take this pawn because the bishop is protecting it. 
Um, so once the rook takes, then you did take it back. Very, very good. And then now, this is a huge mistake because your your knight's attacking the queen right now. So yeah, 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 yeah. There was a couple of like really, yeah. Those those were those were two not very good um, moves. I think he just didn't see. The, it seems like to me like he was like panicking or didn't and didn't see the bishop or whatever. I don't know how. I mean, it's a day a move, but yeah, that that was that was pretty lucky. It wasn't nothing was gonna. Yeah, uh, sorry. Right, exactly. So it's important, um, like when you're when you're just like when you're playing chess, it's very important to ask questions, such as, can my opponent safely capture any pieces? So obviously, in this position, I would, well, actually, wait, hold on. So I just noticed something. This queen is actually trapped right now. Maybe that's why the rook went there. So, uh, right, so knight goes here, it's attacking the queen. Notice the queen cannot go here. That's not safe. That's not safe. This this is not safe. This is not safe. And taking the bishop is not safe thanks to this knight. Um so right. making so actually taking the um the pawn um with the um Rook, this actually makes sense because now the queen can safely go to e1 and that saves the queen. So actually, this actually does make sense. Um, rook mm -hmm. takes, bishop takes, but again, your opponent, again, should have asked the question, can my opponent safely capture a piece? Can my opponent, like, what is my opponent attacking? Um, this is a huge mistake. Your opponent should have moved the queen to e1 to save the queen mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so pawn um yeah pawn takes bishop you did a great job um just taking the queen so it's very important to ask like what am i attacking you notice that you um were attacking your opponent's queen you took it good job um so pawn takes okay and then knight goes here good so I don't know if you were aware of this. The pawn was attacking the knight, and I liked um how you moved um the um the knight over here, and then mm -hmm. you were also you're also threatening to um take this pawn, right? Um. Yeah. So, yeah. I might have moved somewhere else with that. Okay. With that knight, I think. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Maybe more for more forward like uh what's that one a b c d uh d d4 or something oh the... oh wait 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 where could where where was it the night was oh, over um, here. d d5 maybe um, no because then the other night is there yeah we have to be yeah the other thing is i think this is um, okay, we have to be careful right now because I noticed that the bishop, knight, pawn, knight, and rook, um, they're all on the same diagonal. So mm -hmm. I think right now, I think mm -hmm. this is, I think this is okay for right now. Let's see what actually, um, happens now. So knight, um, goes here. This makes sense because I guess he saw that the knight was, your knight was attacking this pawn, and then I guess he wanted to protect it. I want to see what happens now. So, bishop takes it. Okay, we need to be very careful in this position right now. Just to let you know, you are in a winning position, but there was something I wanted to just let you know. Notice that this bishop, this pawn, and this rook, they're on the same diagonal. So if bishop takes, that's okay. But notice that he can also move this pawn here too. And notice this is a double attack move. Once he moves this pawn here, notice that this bishop is attacking this rook and the pawn is also attacking the queen at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was worried about that. I mean, I knew that, that I knew that was going to happen, like, at some point. 
yes, at some ex- point that was that was gonna go down. Yes, exactly. So what I would probably do in this position is, um, I mean, if you notice right now, you could always um take the night right now, um, I would probably. Um, maybe move the queen over to um, e6 mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so this pawn cannot move and then I would probably castle queen side mm-hmm. oh actually, actually we can't castle um, actually, can we castle no but um, I would probably maybe move the rook over to g8 or something. It's not good for this rook to be on the same diagonal as this bishop. Uh, mm-hmm. But moving forward, um, bishop takes, bishop takes, okay. Okay, you have the right idea because this tactic, um, when you took the knight, this is called removing the defender because again it's not safe for the knight um to take the pawn so you remove the defender okay that's good um but again i'm still very concerned about um this pawn move right here so again in this position i would probably again um instead of taking the knight i would probably maybe just move this queen here mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. so this pawn cannot move or, yeah, that's what I would probably do. Or maybe move this wick over here or something. That's what I would mm-hmm. do because I don't like this double attack move. But moving forward, you did take um, you take the pawn. And then this is what happens. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, let's see what happens. But you did take it. Okay. Okay. What happens now? But actually, this is actually... No, it was good. But actually, you're, you're actually doing okay. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Okay, let's see. So, the rook... Actually, I noticed that... When the queen takes a pawn, notice that now you're threatening to take this bishop. Yeah. Yeah, and which is protected by the... Which is protected by the knight. With, which is a... Which is a... It's a check. And I'm hoping... So, that's what I'm hoping what will happen... And then I can um, castle um, and bring the other rook, one of the rooks, for to eventually get a checkmate somehow. Which I, as you you will see, I have no idea how to checkmate anybody. I'm just hoping that they just don't have any pieces at all, and then I can possibly get something happening. Yes. So I noticed that you know if if the bishop if if this bishop does take the rook. Then you can just take this bishop, and then that was with yeah. Jack, so that would be very good. But your opponent ended up moving here, and now we gotta be very, very careful because I noticed that since you haven't castled, notice that the king, queen, and this rook they're all on the same line. You don't want your queen to be pinned, but I want to see what actually mm-hmm. happened. Okay, you finally um do castle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty late. You castled on move twenty six. Um right, so it's a little bit late, but okay. You're already doing okay. But the other good thing about this is now um you save the rook. The bishop is not attacking um your rook anymore, so that's good. And the king and the queen, they're not on the same line anymore. So I would say that this is a good move. Yay! Yes. Okay. <laughs> so bishop goes to f3. And then I'm hoping that you move your queen. Yes. So you're actually doing a good job paying attention to what your opponent is attacking. So because some people don't do that. Some people might move this rook here or maybe move another piece. And then um, your queen gets captured. But you notice, like, hey, let's move the queen. <laughs> so <laughs> big red flag, big red flag. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's 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 very important to ask, like, um, if I move here, is it safe? One, um, so moving the queen here, that's fine. Um, one, one, another tip for you is you want to try to move and make a threat. So I notice that moving this queen here, um, it. You move the queen this um to a safe place. That's good, but what I would probably do in this position is I would probably move the queen over to a two, because mm-hmm. notice mm-hmm. that you're making 
two threats at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what you want to try to do. But you didn't move here. It's safe. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, King goes there. And then let's see what happens now. Okay. And then why did you um, move this wick over here? What was the idea? Uh, I wanted I wanted it to be... Um, I wanted to start thinking about ending the game at some point and getting things, uh, w you know, in line with his king. Okay, that's good. So if you notice right now, these two rooks, they're not doing anything. So um, maybe we're moving the rook over here. Um, okay, that makes sense. So I mean, maybe the plan is to you to maybe push this pawn up. One other idea for you is I noticed that this rook is on the open file. So one thing you could try to do is to move this rook over here. And mm -hmm. then now the rooks, they're challenging each other. So mm -hmm. the idea is if this rook takes, then this rook um, can take back. Yeah, I think that I think that happens uh, pretty soon because right now I know I'm like w like way ahead and I'm like I want to trade whatever pieces I I'll, I'll trade pieces all day because um, then there'll be less pieces on the board <laughs> so that I can possibly figure out how to get a checkmate and I don't have any bishops so I so I don't need to worry about I don't know why but I feel like if it's if it's if it's only one bishop at the end then I I don't I don't like like that. I don't need two bishops or zero bishops. I don't know if that makes any any sense, but it's just what it just what it feels like. So I just want all these pieces to go away right now. And actually, you have the, that that's actually the right strategy. I mean, if you notice right now, you are up a queen right now, and the computer says that you're up thirteen points. So you are in a completely winning position. So because of that, you do want to trade down. So if you could trade. The rooks, um, like these bishops, I mean, or if you could trade the knights, that would be like, that would actually be very good for y'all. Um, um, trading down, that's good. Um, so let's move. Okay, so you move there. Knight goes there. Okay, and then let's see what happens now. Okay, so you're trying to attack right now. So that's what that's one thing I noticed. Again, I think this is okay, but again. I noticed like this rook um, on f8, it's not doing anything. So because mm -hmm. of that, I would probably go rook um, to e8, just to mm -hmm. um, challenge the rook on e1. That's what I would probably do. Because again, mm -hmm. um, remember like, like, this rook is not doing anything. Like you gotta get all, try to get your, um, all the rooks involved, right? Mm -hmm. um, so pawn goes here. Okay, at least you're trying to attack. Um, ooh, okay. So let's see. Bishop goes here. It's attacking the queen. I also noticed that the um the queen and Richter are on the same diagonal. Let's see what happens now. Pawn takes. Okay. And that makes sense. The bishop cannot take the queen because... The white king is in check because of this pawn. Let's see what happens. And then let's see what happens. Um, okay, you took the knight. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. It's safe to take it. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, yeah, this is good. What goes there? Okay. Did we move the... Okay, so you decided to um, move it back. Okay, that makes sense. Um, one idea uh, for you is, I think right now, since, a, um, since White doesn't have a um, queen, I think right now, I think it's okay to be aggressive and you can move mm -hmm. um, this pawn here. Mm-hmm. And then that attacks the bishop. Yeah, and the bishop has like mm, very few options at that at it, that point because it's got like that one square over by its pawn. It, it can go to exactly. So the bishop, um, it can 
it can go here or here. Yeah. But I mean, at least like you're gaining more space. This bishop is still very strong, but I'm not too worried. I mean, your king's a little bit more open right now, but I'm not too worried about your king right now because um, um, your opponent's queen is off the board and you have a queen. So this is okay. But you did move this knight back, but notice that this knight, it is pinned. Um, if you move the knight again, then the bishop um, can capture the rook. But this is okay for right now. Uh, okay. Bishop takes knight, and you decided to take it back. Good. It's. I'm glad that you took it back with the queen, because if you took it back with the pawn, <laughs> notice that... Um, the pawn, your pawn stretcher is, um, it's pretty bad right now. I don't really know about pawn structure. I just like them to be in a nice, uh, in a line, with sl nice slanty ways, uh, right next to each other. And yeah, that's what I like. It makes, it makes it happy. It exactly. Happy. Exactly. Right. So, um, right now, since the pawns are, they're, since they're right next to each other, they're happy. They're happy pawns. Um, mm -hmm. If you take it with this pawn, notice that this pawn is isolated. These pawns, um, they're on the same line. Um, these, the, these are isolated pawns, and they're not that happy because these pawns, they're not protecting each other. And also lonely, notice... Lonely pawns. Yes, they're lonely. <laughs> so you you got to make your pawns happy. So um, I'm glad that you took the bishop with the queen. Mm -hmm. So the pawns, um, um, they're together and they're happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pawn goes there. You move it there. And then um, do you want to tell me um, why you moved here? Um... Okay, uh, okay, this is the point where I start to, to completely have no, I, I, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but I, but, but if you notice the, I mean, like the, the, the rook is right there and I'm thinking about um, bouncing off the wall to get behind to the king. Okay, okay. I also notice that when you go here, you're also threatening um, two things at the same time. Um, this is a queen fork. You're attacking the pawn, also this rook too, so you can safely take those pieces. And then the rook um, goes here. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see what happens. You did decide to um, take the pawn. Not bad. The other move that you can also do is... I, I also noticed this rook. Um, these two rooks, they're not doing anything, so I would also probably maybe go here. Um, so mm -hmm. it's attacking um, that rook. That's what I would probably do. But right now you're going here. Okay, not bad. It's, it's decent. Rook goes here. What is this rook doing right now? I don't know. Um, let's see what happens. Okay. Um, and then do you want to tell me? Yeah, like, it must that? be <laughs> funny for you. <laughs> like watching people. Hmm. Then was there a thought? There, no, just two beginners, just kind of pushing the pieces around. Okay, um, so I think this is I think this is a very um interesting move. Um, first of all, I um the king is attacking this pawn. I notice that when you move this pawn here, it is protecting this pawn. So that's good. Yeah. The the pawns um they're helping each other out, but I also notice that this queen is also attacking this bishop. So if this king ever does um okay if if this king ever does take this pawn then notice that this queen can just take this bishop uh-huh yeah it definitely didn't see i definitely didn't see that yes so definitely didn't see that so i think right now i think this pawn move it's decent it's okay but in this position what i would probably do is i would probably just move my rook here so i can get this rook into play right mm -hmm. Um, it's important and get rid of that other rook. I'm watching it back now. I'm like, why is that? Why is that rook still there? It's just so annoying. Yes, it has been gone a long, long time ago. Just like that night from back at the beginning. Yes, 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 definitely. Um, but 
you go here again. It's not bad. It's it's decent. At least like the pawns are protecting each other. But again, I just think that again, moving the rook over here, I think that would be the best move. But moving forward, um, rook goes here. Oh, well, I guess I um the rook is being aggressive and wants to um capture this rook. Um, so it's a it, yeah, but it was a capture of the pawn. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah. So you're actually doing very good. You're actually doing it. You're paying attention um, to what um, your what your opponent is attacking. It's always important to ask, um, can my opponent safely capture a piece? Yep, the rook can safely capture this pawn. So I'm glad that you moved it up. And you still have to be careful because, I mean, if you're not paying attention, like let's say that you move this pawn here, and if the rook goes here, and then let's say you move here, then this way can go here, and then this is actually checkmate. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so you know this bishop, it's this bishop is strong because it's controlling um, these two squares next to the king. So, I'm very happy that you moved this pawn up. So now it's not safe for the rook to um, take the pawn. So mm -hmm. moving mm -hmm. forward, um, rook goes here. And then let's see what happens now. Um, queen goes here, and it seems like you, um, you you went here to um, capture to to attack the d three pawn. I'm gonna be totally honest. Mm -hmm. I'm st I I I was still just trying to come around the come around the the back and um, maybe get that maybe get that that bishop and then have my queen next to my pawn and bring out the rook or whatever. I, listen, I honestly, nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing was going through my head. I can see that. Okay. Um, I think, no, I think it's, it's, it's a decent um, move right now because first mm -hmm. of all, this does um, a couple of things. First of all, um, you are making a threat. You are threatening to capture this pawn. The other thing is you are moving your most powerful piece closer to your opponent's king. So this is this is pretty good. Again, what I would probably, I mean, again, there's many ways you can win in this position. But again, another thing you could do is simply just move the rook over to e8 to challenge um, the, the rook on e4. But as we're going by <laughs> every move that that rook doesn't move over, I'm just thinking, Oh, please just move it over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, this is this is still good. I I still like this move. It's you're moving the queen closer to this king. What happens now? Okay, what goes here? So it seems like um I mean your opponent he's in a completely lost position right now, but I mean you've still got work to do. Um, this rook is attacking this pawn. Again, it's not safe to take this pawn because of this rook. Um, let's mm -hmm. see what happens. Yes, you took the pawn. Okay, and it's checking the king. Good. King um, goes there. What happens now? Oh, wow, this queen um, is very powerful right now, and it's eating up um, all your opponent's pawns. Okay, that's with the check. Good. Okay, and then let's see what happens. So you moved it here. It seems like you want to continue to um, capture his pawns, huh? Well, yeah, and then his bishop can't move. So, I see. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Now, now I will finally soon. I know it's going to be. I even I will move that rook. Oh, over. Yeah. Right. Yes, I understand that. Um, there's many ways you can win um, in this position. So this is okay. You're moving the queen closer um, to the king. It's also attacking the pawn too. I also noticed that one move you can also do is to move this pawn up. Mm -hmm. um, because the idea is when you move this pawn here, it's also controlling the a2 square mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. the c2 square too. And that's next to mm -hmm. the king. So this is mm -hmm. another idea that you could do. Um, but okay, this works. Okay. King goes there. 
and then you're just munching up on um, your opponent's pawns. That's fine. Again, what I would probably do, maybe to make the, maybe to make the, maybe to um, do a checkmate faster, or maybe end the game faster, is let's threaten checkmate, and let's move the rook over here. Because if you do that, then you're actually threatening checkmate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by moving the rook or the queen over to the d1 so that would yeah. be that that would be um that would end the game faster but what you're doing is completely fine um so let's see what happens what goes there okay you finally got one of your rooks on the open file <laughs> okay that's good Remember, like you know, like hey, it's these... the wrong. It's the wrong rook, though. But okay. no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Um, doesn't if you matter. move, if you move the rook over to um, d eight, or if you move this rook over to d eight, it's completely fine. If you move any of these rook um over to e eight, this is completely fine too. But you gotta mm -hmm. just make sure, like if you've got rooks, you gotta make sure you get them active. These rooks need to get into play. So this is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. And you're threatening um, checkmate too. I like that. Okay, so it seems like he sees what you're trying to do. So now the wicket's um, controlling the D1 square and it stops the checkmate. And what do you do there? Okay, so good. I like that. Let's see what happens. There's many ways to win. Um, so I mean, let's see what happens. King goes there. Okay. Okay, you decided to um, trade rooks. That's good. Um, one idea, another idea you could do is let's just double up the rooks. And then now mm -hmm. the p idea is, um, let's say that the rook goes here. Now rook goes here. Rook takes. And then you can finally um, get this rook um, and take the rook on d1. And then mm -hmm. this is actually very good for y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you gotta remember is make sure double up the rook. Then double up the rook. Yes, that's what you wanna do. So what so when you were here, again it's completely fine because at least um um you're attacking this rook. But again, just to make the game um end faster, um you wanna double up the rug. But this is mm -hmm. this is still fine. Rook takes, queen takes. Okay, not bad. Okay, bishop goes there, and then you went here, and then I'm assuming you moved here because you want to get another queen. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I was, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, and that's per that's perfectly fine. Um, a lot of beginners they like to move their pawns to um get queens, so this is perfectly fine. I think maybe to end the game faster, what I would probably <laughs> do. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's just like I, again, this. I mean, what you're doing is completely <laughs> fine. <laughs> but <laughs> come on, Rook, let's get out of there. Yeah, actually. Go. So I mean, I'm just saying it's like. What you're doing is completely fine, but I think a quicker way to win is to maybe move this pawn here, because right. now I'm worried about a stalemate. I think. Okay. All right. I want to let his king have a square to go back and forth between, and then I can somehow remember how to do any kind of checkmate. Right. Okay. Right now, I don't. Right. Okay. Right now, I think you're okay because White um still has um this bishop right now, mm -hmm. um. But I know I know that that this bishop is pinned, but the king can still go to a one, so you're still doing okay. I would go b three because if you notice. Um, you know, this bishop cannot move, so if the king does go here, then the queen can go here, and then that's a checkmate. Um, if, the, if the king goes here, then the queen can go here, and that's what you want to do, is like when you're playing chess, you want to try to get the, your queen as close as possible to your opponent's king, but of course it needs to be safe. Moving here is safe because of this pawn. 
if this um, king goes here, then we can simply just move the rook over here, and then that's a checkmate. Um, if the king goes here, the queen can go here. This is a checkmate. And then the queen can also go here, and then that's also a checkmate too. So, mm -hmm. um, but again, there's many ways you can win, um, but you decided to move the pawn here, perfectly fine. Um, king goes here, so this bishop is not pinned anymore. And then it looks like you're just, okay, good. That's very good. Um, bishop is attacking the rook, so you decided to move it. Okay, not bad. No, we need to have a party. <laughs> yeah, for the rook. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, rook goes there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Finally, you get the rook into um play. That's good. Um, rook goes there. King goes there. Nice. Yay! Yay! And that's a nice checkmate. Good. And do you see um another way you can do a checkmate? Um, uh, queen to a two or something. Yep, yeah, that's it. And that's another way you can do yeah. checkmate. Mm -hmm. So, nice game. So, um, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for walking through it. Oh man, I feel so bad. For my poor rooks, just abandoned, not even thought about the whole game. Those poor guys. It's okay. I mean, at least, I mean, at least you're learning. That's 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 the most important thing. Is like, it's like if you want to get better, it's important to um, analyze your games. And now you know. Mm -hmm. It's like make sure like you get the rooks involved, the knights, bishops, queens. They all need to um, work as a team. Um, mm -hmm, that's important because yeah. it's good. It's like if you if the rooks just stay um, like on the back row, it's like you're it's like these rooks don't exist, but they do. So because of that, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta get them into play. I thought um, I thought this was an like, interesting game, and I thought that um, you I think for the I think overall um, you did a great job taking advantage of your opponent's um, mistakes. Cool, cool. I hope you like watching my videos. If you would like to support my channel, all you need to do is to go click the support my channel button. On this page, then you can um, um, give a donation. Um, thanks in advance if you do that. If you like watching my videos, then I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.